Hi there folks, welcome to my video update for December 2021. My name is Mr Bird, I'm one of the deputy head teachers here at Community High School. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what's, what is my busiest time of the year um, coming up in January. What I specifically want to talk about here is the course choice process for 2022-23. The process begins this early because it takes me that long to construct and build the timetable. But the beginning of that process is obviously second, fourth and fifth year pupils making their course choices for next session. The week beginning the 10th of January we'll see assemblies for these year groups where I will take the pupils through the process and let them know exactly what they need to do, how the uh, choices will be collected. We're going to be using an online system, but more information about that in January. Uh, let them know where the course choice booklets are and they would then be prepared to make their choices. Now, the course choice booklets and the PowerPoint that I use at the assembly will go live on the school website and on Satchel 1, so parents and carers can get access to that to see exactly what the process involves. This is a busy time of year for subjects as well, because they want to make sure that the pupils are fully aware of what the courses they offer contain, what they'll be doing, and where it will lead them in future careers to further education, higher education, etc. So in the lessons during January, every subject will be promoting their subject to the children so they know exactly what they're choosing. PSE. Uh, taken by guidance teachers will also focus on the course choice and they'll be able to ask uh, the guidance teachers for any more information, clarity on the process as well. We also usually have a subject and careers fair that takes place live in school in January. Unfortunately, we think it's increasingly likely that that will happen in that form this year. Um, we hope to offer some form of virtual event the exact date and time of that will be confirmed as soon as we know what we're doing. Um, there is a survey live at the moment to see what you would like at that evening, uh, if it happens to be virtual. Uh, that's on Satchel 1. There was a text sent out to parents and carers, the second, fourth and fifth year pupils. But if you haven't got any of those links, you can scan the QR code that you can see on the screen here, which will take you to that survey. After that, uh, time in January, we're hoping that all the choices will be in by Monday the 31st. Then the pupils will have a course choice meeting with their guidance teacher who will discuss their choices with them to ensure that they've made the correct choices, there's no errors, that they're taking things that will lead to their future careers um, after school. After that, the construction of the timetables begins. That's when I become increasingly busy and actually have to try and fit everyone's choices together. Now, I'll, I try my best to get everything there, but sometimes things don't happen. For example, some classes have limited capacity, so people might, might not get into that particular course. Sometimes I just can't make things fit together. If that does happen, um, I will, will be in touch, or the guidance teacher will be in touch to say that we can't do that, and we'll try and come up with an alternative choice for each child. Thankfully, that doesn't happen too often. I managed to get almost everyone their choices, but again, I cannot uh, get everything through there um, just by the nature of how the timetable works. Something else I want to talk about is uh, an award system that was introduced in the school this term. We decided it'd be a good idea for pupils to vote on their teacher of the month. And pupils are asked to nominate a teacher who they think is, you know, done something really good, taught their classes really well, makes lessons interesting, those kind of things, and they vote through that, through their, their Glow accounts, and every month, with the exception of October, because we're on holiday, we have uh, a Teacher of the Month. The inaugural winner of that was Mr Dempsey in the Technical Department. November's award went to Miss Crystal in the English Department. Alongside that, we have the Staff of the Month competition, and that is voted for by teachers to recognise the hard work that the other members of staff and school uh, put in to ensure that our school is open and running daily. In September, the technicians team won that, uh, and in November, it was the janitorial team that won those awards. We hope to continue that all year. Pupils are fully aware this has happened as our staff, and we hope to continue that and see some more names up there uh, being recognised for the hard work they put in to keep us all in school, learning and 
working effectively. All that remains for you, me to do is to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and hope you all enjoy some fantastic time at home with your friends and family over the next few weeks. Thank you for listening.